Yeah, I'm working with laser technology. I'm working with photons, individual waves of laser light. It's tough sometimes when you're doing something that everyone sees as eccentric in its era that you sort of have to wait till the next generation comes along who looks at it and goes like, this isn't crazy, this is amazing. Good afternoon, Holographic Studios. Today we're in New York City, and we're interviewing this guy. Jason Arthur Sapin. But his friends call him Dr. Laser. Nicknames. You don't choose them, you get stuck with them. He's a holographer. That means he makes holograms, and he's been doing it for a really long time. This is now 41 years. But not the kind like Tupac, right? Oh no, not even similar. I mean, Tupac's illusion wasn't even 3D. Holograms, they get kind of a bad rap, but they're actually a really advanced science. Holography is a field, a, a subdivision of photonics that deals with wave recording of the field. Oh God, science. Long story short, a hologram is made by bouncing laser light off of a three-dimensional object and onto special film, mostly. All right. Holograms, they've been relevant a handful of times. In the 80s, holographic jewelry. In the 90s, suddenly you had pogs and Pokemon cards. Oh my God, my son was like, you know, very big on getting the hologram ones. There's no denying that these things, they're just not mainstream. But Dr. Laser doesn't care because he loves what he does. Maybe it doesn't make me famous. Maybe it doesn't make me rich but it makes me very, very, very happy. Hell yeah, you do you, Dr. Laser.